Ethiopia is currently constructing a $5 billion mega airport. Ethiopian Airlines is the national airline of Ethiopia, having its headquarters in Addis Ababa. For more than 60 years, the airline has grown into one of the continent's top carriers, unrivaled in Africa for efficiency and operational success. It has generated profits for almost all of its years in operation. It has also developed into one of Ethiopia's most important industries. Ethiopian Airlines covers 53 international destinations with 157 weekly international departures from Addis Ababa, and a total of 410 weekly international departures from other cities around the world. Ethiopian Airlines began operations with pilots and technicians from the United States, but by the airline's 25th anniversary in 1971, it was managed and staffed entirely by Ethiopians. It began providing transatlantic services in 1988. Ethiopian Airline has come a long E from what it used to be. It can be seen that its growth has been exponential along the years, and now it's aiming for greater things. This can be seen with their plan to construct another airport to improve productivity and profit. Welcome to Think Rich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed yet you are missing out. Ethiopian Airlines announced some exciting news to the globe about its future growth ambitions. Tool Jebermeriam, the airline's chief executive officer, revealed that plans for a new $5 billion mega airport are now in the early phases of development. Ethiopia's current primary airport is the Bol International Airport, which has been declared the continent's fifth busiest air gateway, serving 8,900,000 yearly. Earlier this year, Ethiopian Airlines announced intentions to construct a giant airport in the Oromia area. According to CEO Tool Jebber Mariam, who spoke at the time on state-run Fauna Broadcasting Corporate, negotiations with the Oromia Regional State were underway to acquire the property needed for the airport and an accompanying hotel at the time. According to Jebber Mariam, in a recent interview with another local news agency, Ina, he provided additional information regarding the proposed project. It was announced back in 2018 by Ethiopian Airlines that the airport will have an annual capacity of 80 million people once it is fully operational. It was to be constructed specifically in the town of Bishoftu, which is located approximately 48 kilometers southeast of the capital Addis Ababa. The project will be built over 35 square kilometers of land and will be the largest airport in Africa, according to reports. It will be significantly larger than Dubai International Airport and will compete with Istanbul International Airport. Once completed, it would have a passenger handling capacity of 100 million passengers per year and will include huge duty-free shopping malls, hotels, logistics, and training facilities. The regional government has given the go-ahead for the development of the airport city in Bishoftu, specifically a location known as Avsura, according to the company. The goal is to relieve pressure on Bol International Airport as a result of the exponential development in the number of passengers carried by the airlines year after year. It would be one of the largest projects in the country, even larger than the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or JURD, project, which is valued at $5 million. The airline is the largest and fastest growing carrier on the continent in terms of both passengers and freight. In the first quarter of 2019, it carried 12 million passengers and transported over 432,000 tons of freight, generating revenues in excess of $4 billion. 
In addition, as part of its consolidation strategy, it has continued to expand its routes around the world. The airline also provides a significant amount of revenue to the thriving hotel business in and around Addis Ababa. At any given point in time, hundreds of travelers are accommodated in hotels in the Ethiopian capital of Addis Ababa as they transit through the city. Ethiopian Airlines holds the distinction of being the largest airline in Africa, which is a significant achievement in the aviation industry. With a net profit of $260 million in the previous year, however, the airline believes it is not being utilized to its maximum capacity. In addition, it is the most profitable airline in the continent of Africa. Given its recent success, it is hardly surprising that the airline has ambitious expansion plans for the following years. It is apparent that the airline has set high standards for itself with the construction of the brand new Mega Port. However, Ethiopian Airlines just completed a significant expansion project at its existing base, Bol International Airport. The project was completed only last year. Currently, Ethiopian Airlines' principal hub is located at Bol International Airport in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. On January 27, 2019, a newly expanded terminal opened, increasing the airport's capacity from 7 million to 22 million passengers per year, more than tripling the previous capacity of the facility. Even with 22 million passengers per year, the airline is still significantly under capacity when compared to the airline's projected passenger demand. Tool Jebermeriam, the CEO of Ethiopian Airlines, spoke with media about the project and stated that, Bol International Airport will not be able to handle us. We have a wonderful expansion project underway. However, given our current growth rate, the airport will be completely filled in around three or four years, says the airport's general manager. With a goal capacity of 100 million passengers per year, the Addis Ababa Mega Airport will quickly surpass all other airports in Africa in terms of passenger traffic volume. However, Ethiopian Airlines' new Mega Airport will still be dwarfed by Turkey's Mega Airport in Istanbul, which has a planned capacity of 200 million passengers per year and is expected to reach that level in the near future. Ethiopian Airlines may be state-owned, and it may also be the most profitable airline in Africa, but $5 billion is still a significant expenditure that will almost certainly necessitate the involvement of outside investors. China has emerged as the most important source of financing for large projects across Africa in recent years, as the country makes significant investments on the continent. The Export-Import Bank of China, a state-controlled institution that finances a wide range of international projects, provided funding for the terminal extension project at Bol International Airport, which was completed last year. The financial details of the new Meg Airport have not been disclosed, but considering the way prior projects have been handled, it is probable that China would contribute at least a portion of the cash for the project. The addition of a second terminal at Bol International last year more than doubled the airport's annual capacity to 22 million passengers. The Exim Bank of China provided the funding for the project. Bol Airport will not be able to accommodate us, Tuold stated emphatically. The airport appears to be quite spacious, but with the rate at which we are growing, we will be completely filled in about three or four years, says the CEO. His prior statements had stated that Bol International Airport should be able to handle 100 million travelers each year. There were no specifics offered about the finance or building of the airport. According to Reuters, the airline had a net profit of $260 million in the 2018-2019 fiscal year, an increase from a net profit of $207.2 million the previous year. There is so much to consider when we look at this project, is it really necessary? Couldn't the airline manage for a few years before taking this decision? But at the same time, the vision is great, and if achieved, will take the airline to greater heights. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Share our video with friends and family. Give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to our community for more enriching information. Help our channel grow.